Tyra Banks here, and this is everything I eat in a day. The first thing I do when I wake up, sadly, is I check my phone. I can't help it. I run a lot of businesses and have a huge one that I'm launching, and I gotta start as soon as those eyes open. I love me some coffee. And I like my coffee with a little bit of flavor in it. And I'm not talking about those syrups and those powders. I just mean the beans have been soaked in some vanilla or some caramel infusation. Is that a word? And so I make my coffee black, no sugar, no cream, just my infused flavor. And then lately, I've been doing a bagel. But let me tell you how I do my bagels. I take my bagel, plain bagel on a day that I'm not gonna be in front of somebody's face. Onion bagel, if I'm gonna be speaking closely to people. Wait, I said that opposite. Funky breath if I'm gonna be close to people. Okay, flop that, you know what I mean. I cut the bagel in half and then I scoop out all that extra bagelization and put that on the side. Then I take my whipped cream cheese and I dig deep into that pot of it, and I fill up the entire scooped out bagel rounds like a moat, but I'm not finished yet. Then I take that plate of that moated cream cheesed bagel, and I put it inside of the microwave, and I shut the door, and then I set it for 20 seconds. And then what starts to happen is the molecular makeup of that cream cheese starts to change. It's like a science project. And when you take it out of the microwave, it's not just heated, oh no. It's creamy and it has a slightly tart flavor that it didn't have pre-microwave. I blow on it because if I take a big bite, it's gonna burn my lips. So I have to blow and then I slowly bring it to my mouth and I bite oh, and I try to get the cleanest bite, but there's whipped cream, um, cream cheese, whatever cream, all over my lips. And then I lick it and I lick it until it is all gone. <laughs> at work at Model Land, the team is working nonstop and we often don't have time to take a break for lunch. So I go into our snack box and I just go, hmm, do I want corn chip? Or do I want sesame bar, which sounds weird, but it is so good. Or do I want some kind of like natural licorice? Or do I want some bean chips? Or do I want some like cauliflower puffs? And sometimes I want every single one of those. And so for the rest of the afternoon, I open bag after bag and eat them one by one until there's like nine bags in front of me and I feel disgusting. I have a very interesting relationship with food. I have to say that it is one of the most important things in my life. A lot of my personal life and the things that I like to do and my hobby is food finding new restaurants, doing a challenge where I can't go to the same restaurant again for six months, finding food festivals. I love a supper club. It is a true, very important thing to me. So much so that right now, you can't tell because I have on a men's blazer, I am 25 pounds heavier than I was on the cover of a very famous swimsuit magazine that came out last year. So it's like when you're tired and you're working hard, you just go to this fast food and this fast food and this fast food and you compare the burgers. So I'm 30 pounds heavier and it'll come off one day, but not today. For dinner, I love doing something that's a little special and it's a little bit indulgent. I go to a delivery app and I choose two different restaurants with the same cuisine. Let's say Mexican. Let's call this place La Rancha. And let's call this place La Burrito Titi. La Rancha, I will order nachos. I will order nachos from La Burrito Titi. I'll order enchiladas con carne. I'll order one here. 
and then they come almost at the same time. And then there's the taste test. I do it with my son, I do it with my man. We line it up and then we score the different restaurants with the same items. And what happens is the next time you order, you'll know where to order from because one of them is always nasty. I cook a couple of different things. One thing that I recently cooked that I have to say that I perfected at the Culinary Institute of America near Napa, California is my sriracha maple bacon jerky candied yum. I take bacon, it must be cured, and it must be very smoky, and I create a sauce on the side that is maple syrup, but it has to be fake maple syrup, not that fancy Canadian stuff, and some sriracha. I mix it into this like wonderful elixir. Then I dip the bacon in that. Dip, 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 dip. And then I lay the bacon out, and then I like actually grind pepper all over it into big chunks. I place it in the oven, and I have to watch it so it doesn't burn. But it starts to almost like crystallize and caramelize, and then it starts to jerky eyes. That is a word. It starts to jerky eyes, and then it comes out of the oven, and it is almost like candy. It is so good. And that's everything I eat in a day.